Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jade, also known as C Style Book here on YouTube. I make lecture related content every week, so make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell button down below so you get notified when I put out new content on every Sunday. So, following the title of this video, as some of you may know and see in front of me, we're doing a comparison video. We're comparing the Mini Kelly 2 and the Kelly Pochette. So, going over what we're going to take a look at in today's video, I will start off with some of my personal pros and cons for each of the bag, and then we're going to go into more of the specifications for the two bags, the measurements, and how much they can fit and hopefully it gives you an idea of which bag you would like to put on your wish list with Hermes or you would like to add to your collection. So starting off with the Mini Kelly, also known as the Mini Kelly 2, the biggest difference it has over the Kelly Pochette is that it has shoulder straps and it kind of has more of a handle at the top of the bag. In terms of pros and cons, Personally, I find the Mini Kellys to be quite small and compact. You really can't fit a lot of things in it because it's quite structured. If you try to stuff things into it like other Kellys, um, it will kind of change the shape of the bag and it can bulge on the side and cause the leather to crease in strange ways. So like other Cellier Kellys, the capacity of the bag is really compensated because of the structure and the kind of leather that's typically used on the Mean Kellys. So this one I have here is an Epson leather. It's a special order. A lot of you guys have seen it in my previous video. But beside the downsides, there's also lots of advantages if you don't take a lot of things with you, just a small wallet and your phone and maybe a lipstick. It's more than enough for you to go around the day. It's really not heavy, you can barely feel it when you're wearing it. So it's a really hassle-free bag because you can wear it with the shoulder strap. This one I have here, it, it is a shorter shoulder strap than the normal Mini Kelly you can get from the boutique because it's special ordered. The strap length we can choose are only 85, 105 or 120. This one I have here is 85 and I find it quite short for crossbody wearing. So I can only wear it on one shoulder. If I wear crossbody, it kind of gets stuck in front of my chest and it's quite uncomfortable. But I do have a longer strap that I usually pair the bag with for me to wear during the winter month when I'm wearing a coat. Some of the other minor things to mention is that because of how small the bag is and how small the hardwares are, the handle part of the bag actually gets a lot of wear. Not the top part, but where the hook is. I'll show you some close-up. Some of the leather has started peeling from me repetitively removing and putting on the shoulder strap. Even though I am still quite careful, just the motion of putting these tiny, tiny um, hooks for the shoulder strap onto the bag has caused minor damages. Again, these are easily repairable by Hermes Spa, but if you do send your bag back to Hermes Spa, that means you could lose your bag for up to seven months when it goes through the repair process. So personally, I'm not looking into getting this repaired, but if it does get much worse and we start seeing a lot more peeling around this area, I will definitely send it back to Hermes for some repair. Other than that, it's a very small and cute compatible day bag. Of course, you can use it for evening, but I find that because of the colors I chose, this is a much more casual bag I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis. I actually wore it out today with the longer shoulder straps. For those of you that doesn't like how structured this bag is, maybe consider getting it in a softer leather like Chev and stay away from stiffer leathers like Epson or Box. Epson is so fine, it does become quite forgiving over time, but I find box leather in the size of a mini Kelly's are quite hard to use because they're very, very stiff. So that's it for this one. So moving on here, this is my Kelly Pochette. So this one is in the color noir and swift leather with gold hardware. I got this one last year for my birthday. Um, in Paris at the Fubourg store through a leather appointment. So I was quite lucky to be able to score this one. 
It's very soft because of the Swift leather and it's definitely less structured than the Mimi Kelly. So it's a lot more forgiving when it comes to putting things in the bag. And naturally the bag is a lot bigger, a lot roomier, so you can fit a lot more into it. However, because it doesn't have a shoulder strap, I have a hard time using it as my day bag. So personally, this is more of a evening bag for me. Um, and to kind of make it special, I do have this tuli that I got from Hermes that I have made into a semi bow, which I think adds a cute little touch. And this is Hermes Paris here, which is quite cute. So in terms of pros and cons, I would say this is less so associated directly to the bag, but to the leather. So Swift leather is very soft. It doesn't hold structure as well, even though it is quite durable. Uh, a lot of people talk about how delicate Swift is, but I find in darker colors, it's actually quite durable. Whenever there's little scratches, it tends to fade away with time or it can use your finger to kind of rub it and usually it would disappear. So if you can see here, if I scratch the bag and I rub it with my finger, it's usually gone and you can barely see it. So that's something I really like about Swift Leather. To combat the structure issue, I do usually put a little cushion. I don't know if you can tell, but it, the corner of it, it kind of pressed on the bag, but I put a little supporting cushion on the inside to kind of help with the structure of the bag so that it doesn't slouch too much over time. But on a small bag, like a Kelly Pouchette, that's really not an issue. Um, but if you have a bigger bag, like a Kelly 25, or Birkin 25, or God for sake, even bigger, then you definitely need to come up with a good way to store your Swift handbags so that they really don't lose their structure too much over time. Swift also captured colors very nice. So I have a little pouch here, you can see. This one is in the color Craig, I believe. And you can see it has worn quite well and it's been through many things but i think the one downside of swift leather is that it does take shape quite easily so if something was pressed into it it will really show but other than that it's very durable it's not super afraid of water if you were just wearing it normally if it gets caught in the ring as long as you wipe it off right afterwards it's usually fine uh, the leather is usually fine now moving on more to the bag specifically, I find the Kelly Pouchette very easy to use, especially for evening events or I'm going for a dinner. It can fit a lot of things. Um, you will see later on, but it really fits a lot more than the Mini Kelly 2. I have no issue fitting a phone and an extra battery and some makeup if I want. It really has a great capacity. It's very lightweight as well because it's in Swift Leather. Swift Leather is lighter than Epson. Truly, there's nothing bad to be said except the fact that it doesn't have a shoulder strap. But I think for me, the shape and the structure of the bag makes it more of a hand carry clutch. So I actually really don't find that being a downside of the bag. I wouldn't really put a strap on the Kelly Pouchette because to me that kind of take away from the point of this bag. It's meant to be an evening clutch rather than a on the shoulder handbag. Um, if you would prefer having a shoulder strap and having a bag that you can wear all the time, wear casually, definitely go for the Mini Kelly. But if you're looking for a good evening bag, I would say the Kelly Pouchette is the way to go. So yeah, that's it for the Kelly Pouchette. So moving on to the comparison for the two bags, we'll start off with the measurements I have here some tape so we can measure together but definitely even just from the visual point of view you can see that the Kelly Pouchette is a lot bigger than the Mini Kelly here you can see the side is wider and the front is also wider let me show you the base that's the easiest way to tell the size apart you can see it's a lot bigger the Kelly Pouchette so let's see the numbers I will tell you the measurements so for the Kelly Pouchette, mine measures 21.5 centimeters and the Mini Kelly measures 
seven centimeters. So it's definitely smaller. And then in terms of width, the Kelly pochette is around seven centimeters. And the Mimi Kelly is around 5.7 centimeters. So as you can see, the Kelly pochette in terms of measurement is also a lot bigger than the Mini Kelly. So moving on to look more exclusively at the capacity of the bag, like I've mentioned and shown through our measurements, that the Kelly pochette is a lot bigger, so it's going to fit a lot more. Um, in terms of weights, both bags are very light. The Mini Kelly weighs a tiny, tiny bit more, but I don't think weight is a big factor given how small and compact these two handbags are. So starting off with the Kelly Pochette, let's see what we can fit into the bag. see it's very full but it definitely fits and I really have not much issue closing up the bag again I wouldn't put that many things into a clutch if I'm just going out for a dinner but you can definitely put a lot of things into the bag it does get quite full and a bit hefty if you stuff it that much but because the bag is in swift leather it's quite a bit soft leather it is very forgiving and you can fit a ton of things into it. So if capacity is a big deal for you, definitely the Kelly Pochette is a great option. Let's switch and take a look at how much the Mini Kelly can fit. So this is the Mini Kelly when it's completely filled. Um, as you can see from the side that it's bulging out, which is something I personally really don't like. I don't like the structure of my bag to have to compensate for the things I put inside of it. And over time, the Epson, because it's a pressed grain leather, the grain actually disappear and becomes smooth if there's constantly pressure on that region of the bag. So personally, I would not do this to my handbag. So usually when I use the Mini Kelly's, I keep my phone with me in my jacket. As you can see, even though we often talk about the Mini Kelly and the Kelly Pochette in the same category and interchangeably, they're definitely not the same, they have many differences, um, one being a proper shoulder bag with a strap and the other one being much of a clutch and an evening bag. Here in France, the Kelly Pochette is actually not a quarter bag, so it's not part of that two bag per year kind of quota system, whereas the Mini Kelly is. So again, that might vary depending on your country and that may affect your decision on whether or not you would opt for a Kelly Pochette or a Mini Kelly or a bigger Kelly like a Kelly 25 because it's a lot more functional. But if you had to choose between a Mini Kelly or a Kelly Pochette, I would say go for a Kelly Pochette. So, Personally, I think the Kelly Pochette is just so practical and very classic. It's a great evening bag if you're going out for a restaurant. It fits lots of things. For the Kellys with straps, personally, I would just prefer going for the Kelly 25. It fits the perfect amount for my day-to-day. -day. It's a bigger bag um, and it's very versatile, whereas the Mini Kelly 2 really doesn't fit a whole lot. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section down below and I'm always happy to answer. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.